In the world of weird, of horned hares and furry fish. I think this is the most bizarre Cadillac in the world. But Yuri Geller is king, and he's using the internet to find a successor to his parapsychic throne. I said to myself, what would happen if I would place a spoon on my website and then ask people around the world to try to bend it? Because I, I don't believe that it, it has to do with distance. It's mind power. Mind over the matter of one million dollars in this case, the spoon is live 24 hours a day, seven days a week, hidden away in a see-through safe in London, attached to a clock to verify when bending does occur and a meter to measure how much. What it does, it looks for um, bending and then it does a sort of averaging process so that even if it's just a little sudden bend, it will still be displayed long enough for you to see it on the screen. Potential parapsychics pay a one-time fee of $4, Geller says, to defray the cost of the experiment. There are a large numbers of people who do report metal bending effects, but up to now there hasn't been anybody with the same types of abilities that Uri Geller has. And so I think that's what we're looking for, is somebody who's able to achieve much larger effects. Geller believes it will be a teenager. The child is open-minded. They are not skeptical, they're believers. So they hold a spoon and they say, well, let me try, maybe I can really do it. There's no negativity, there's no barrier in their minds. Geller doesn't want to retire, just share the burden of his gift, let someone else be the focus of scientists and others who seek to explain the inexplicable. Got spoons from CNN? That's right, Let CNN. me have them. I, I say to it, bend, melt, mainly bend, go like this, imitate me like this and I uh, want the camera to be all the time in so no one will think that I'm putting chemicals or you see look mine is beginning to bend see it's curling upwards it's still it's still continuing to bend in my hand CNN producer Edith Chapin got an additional surprise <laughs> well you just said everybody to check their keys and uh, so I pulled it out of my pocket and sure enough it was bent a little but it's clearly bent a lot more how are you going to get home today? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Whoever wins the internet challenge, Yuri Geller will be a hard act to follow. Margaret Lowry, CNN, London.